You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As today's Bible, July 31st, 2021, this is preached by Pastor Joseph Park. I'll be reading the narration of the autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's English Mystery Message, Romans chapter 16, verse 21 through 27. Timothy, my fellow worker, greets you, so do Lucius and Jason and Sophisitor. My kinsmen, I, Tiridus, who wrote this letter, greet you in the Lord. Gaius, who is host to me and to the whole church, greets you. Erastus, the city treasurer, and our brother Quartus greets you. Now to him who is able to straighten you according to my gospel and the preaching of Christ of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery that was kept secret for long ages but has now been disclosed and through the problematic writing has been made known to all nations, according to the command of the eternal God to bring about the obedience of faith. To the only wise God be glory forevermore through Jesus Christ. You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As today's Bible, July 31st, 2021, this is preached by Pastor Joseph Park. I'll be reading the narration of the autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's English Mystery Message, Romans chapter 16, verse 21 through 27. Timothy, my fellow worker, greets you, so do Lucius and Jason and Sophisitor, my kinsmen. I, Tiridus, who wrote this letter, greet you in the Lord. Gaius, who is host to me and to the whole church, greets you. Erastus, the city treasurer, and our brother Quartus greets you. Now to him who is able to straighten you according to my gospel and the preaching of Christ of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery that was kept secret for long ages, but has now been disclosed and through the problematic writing has been made known to all nations. According you are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As today's Bible, July 31st, 2021, this is preached by Pastor June Park. I'll be reading the narration of the autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's use mystery message, Matthew chapter 25, verse 19 to 30. Now, after a long time, the master of those servants came and set out accounts with them. And he who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five talents more, saying, Master, you delivered to me five talents. Here, I have made five talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter the, the joy of your master. And he also who had the two talents came forward, saying, Master, you delivered to me two talents. Here, I have made two talents more. His master said to him, See, the one talent came forward, saying, Master, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you did not sow, and gathering where you scattered no seed. So I was afraid, and I, I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here, you have what is yours. But his master answered him, you wicked and slothful servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sow, and gather where I have scattered no seed? Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and at my coming I should have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to him who has the ten talents. For to everyone who has will more be given. And he will have an abundance, but from the one who was, has not even what he has will be taken away. And cast the worthless servant into the outer darkness. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth.
You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Hu. And today's Bible, July 24th, 2021, preached by Pastor June Park. I'll be reading the narration that we all cast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's Jesus Mystery Message, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 10 to 31. And by what by that will we have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Day after day, every priest stands and performs his religious duties, again and again. He offers the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But when this priest had offered for all time one sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God. And since that time, he waits for his enemies to be made his footstool. By one sacrifice, he has made perfect forever those who are being made holy. The Holy Spirit also testified to us about this. First, he says, This is a covenant I will make with them. After that time, says the Lord, I will put my laws in their hearts, and I will write them on their minds. Then he adds, Their sins and lawless acts I will remember no more. And where these have been forgiven, sacrifice for sin is no longer necessary. A call to preserve in faith. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way opened for us through the curtain, that is, his body, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings, having our heart sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold assuredly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another. And all the more as you see the day approaching. And if we deliberately keep on sinning after we have received the knowledge of the truth, no sacrifice for sin is left, but only a fearful expectation of judgment and of raging fire that will consume the enemies of God. Anyone who rejects the law of Moses died without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. How much more servicely do you think someone deserves to be punished who has trampled the Son of God underfoot? who has treated as an unholy thing the blood of the covenant that sacrificed them, and who has insulted the spirit of grace. For we know him who said, It is mine to avenge, I will repay, and again, the Lord will judge his people. It is a dreadful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As today's Bible, July 31st, 2021, this preached by Pastor David Shin. I'll be reading the narration that will be autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's Children's Mystery Message, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 19 to 31. Therefore, Brothers, since we have confidence to enter the holy places by the blood of Jesus, and by the new and living way that he opened for us through the curtain, that is, through his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near a, with a true heart in full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another. And all the more as you see the day drawing near. For if we go on sitting deliberately after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a fearful expectation of judgment and a fury of fire that will consume the adversaries. Anyone who has set aside the law of Moses 
dies without mercy. On the evidence of two or three witnesses, how much worse punishment do you think will be deserved by the one who has trampled underfoot the Son of God and has profaned the blood of the covenant by which he has sanctified and has outraged the Spirit of grace? For we know him who said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, and again the Lord will judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God.